Hello, this is Tim from the Utah Education Network, and we're on to part three of this tutorial about creating flyout menus um, off of buttons created in Fireworks. All right, let's go back to Dreamweaver now. Now these buttons are here. You can see when I click on it, um, each of these buttons are actually separate individual graphics. All right, so what I need to do is to create now the actual menus that are going to fly out, and I need two. I need a menu here that comes out under Assignments and a menu that comes out under Calendar. Once I once I have them created, then I can work on getting them um, hooked up so that they function how I want them and that they show up in the right place. So I'm going to go to the bottom of the page um, and create these down here on the bottom of the page. So uh, just going to click my cursor down there. That sort of gets me um, sort of down at the bottom. Uh, and then go ahead and go to Insert. And I'm going to use Layout Object. So I'm going to do um, a AP Div. So that just stands for Absolute Position Div, um, which lets me put it in the exact place. Okay, So I'm going to do AP Div. And you can see it shows up down here at the bottom. And I can grab onto it, that little white handle, move it around. So again, a div is just a rectangular container, um, which I can control uh, its size. All right, so before I go too much further, I'm going to write a little style that, uh, that, that uh, formats this a little bit. Okay, So with it selected like it is, I'm going to uh, click the New Style button. And you can see I can just, since I'm only uh, I'm just going to make this into a class, so I can use it on multiple ones. So this is going to be the style for my flyout menu. And I want to add it to the math.css page. OK. Oh, maybe it wants a dot in front there. OK, so um, I want to uh, set up first I want the background color um, so that it shows up and looks like it belongs. I think I'll use that same blue background color. And I want the text color to so that it shows up really nice. Let's just start with black, and we'll see how that looks. Uh, that goes inside the text inside of there. Now the text inside is going to end up being link, so I'll have to make a, a link style for that. Now I'm going to go to box and put a width in, and I'm just going to sort of guess at this for now. So I'm going to make it 120 pixels wide, and I think I'll need a little bit of padding in there. So maybe 10 pixels padding all the way around. Okay, so that's created. I just have to apply it to this um, this div. So if it's selected, I can go to class and say put this flyout one on there, and uh, type in a little bit of text. So if, under assignments, I might um, have in here, you know, assignment number one. Um, just quickly, and I'm just um, for now. Uh, I'm just going to use Shift Enter to put a break tag in between these. Okay, so something like that. Um, okay, for our style now, that that uh, sizing that I picked, um, I told it to be a width of um, on my style over here. I told it to be a big width, and it's getting. It already had a width set to 200. So I'm just going to delete that out so that it respects the width in my style that, it, that I gave it. All right. So that looks good. OK, so that's the first one. Now, um, to make this easy, um, I'm going to rename it. See how it's called AP Div 1? I'm going to rename this um, to Cal Menu. OK, um, so, that I, so that it has its own unique name. And then I'm going to copy and paste that, and it came in right on top. So I'll have to drag this one over. Oh, I got to click off of it and then paste. There we go. All right, so I'm going to move that one over. That's the new one. Okay, so this first one is my cow menu. The second one that comes up, I'm going to change the name of that to. Um, I named that wrong, didn't I? Um, so I need one that's named Assignment Menu. I'll just name this one Assignment Menu. I'm going to put it kind of over there. It doesn't really matter where these are, but it's kind of nice to have them in order here. And I'm going to change the text in here to say the month. So January and February. 
just so you can kind of get the idea of what this will look like. And this is going to be March. Okay. All right. So there are my two menus. This first one, it's it's named Assignment Menu. It shows up down there. I created a style called Flyout that I applied to it. Um, and the second one that I just copied and pasted, so I had the exact same thing, I just had to change the text inside of it. It's called the Cal menu, and it has the same style, that flyout style. So by creating that class called flyout, that allows me to um, make changes, and I only and I want these because I want these flyout menus to look the same, I can make changes and um, they'll be reflected in all my menus, whether I have two or twenty. So maybe I want to change the background to white. Um, it looks like that. I can also go in here and say, gosh, you know, this would be nice if these had borders around them. So I could put a nice solid one pixel wide black border around these two menus to uh, to make those stand out a little bit more. All right. Um, let's see. All right, that looks good. All right, so there's I've got a class for each one of those. Now, if these were links, of course that um, go back to HTML here. Um, they're going to be links. We're going to link them. Up, we would link them up to, of course, um, HTML pages that had the content on them. But if I just um, highlight them and instead of going through the process of actually making them to links, I'm just going to put the pound sign in there and so that it looks like a link. It gets the A tag in there formatted. Okay, and later uh, I may go and write a, a set of styles that'll make these links look a little prettier, that'll make these whole uh, menus look a little prettier. But right now I just want to work on getting them to function. Okay. So what I want to have happen is when my visitor comes and they roll over this button, I want this assignment menu to show up and also be in the right place, like show up right underneath here probably, something like um, something like that. Okay, and then the visitor can pick off that menu. Uh, but these don't have to be positioned there. I'm going to use JavaScript to get them to snap into the right place. So I'm going to put them down at the bottom of the page um, so they're not in the way. And then I want them to be hidden when this page loads. You can see right here I can make, the, uh, I can make these hidden. Um, and I would have expected that one kind of to turn off. There it goes, yeah. So um, I do have an AP Elements inspector over here. Um, but now I've got a tooltip turned on. You can see that I have uh, have it over there. I'm going to use that to, to control the visibility because um, I can do it both at once. You can see uh, here's my assignment menu and here's my cal menu. So if I want them turned off, meaning I want to set the initial state of them so that when this page opens in the browser, those two menus are turned off. And that's what this column is over here underneath the eye. So I can click it, I get a closed eye, click that and get a closed eye. Um, and then they start off closed. They're still down at the bottom of the page, but they start turned off. And then um, when I roll over, say, the assignment button, or my visitor does, I need to have that menu turn on. I need to have it to snap, snap into the right place. And then I also need it to turn off. And uh, that's what I'm going to use the JavaScript for. And those three extensions are going to help me write the JavaScript. So I don't really need to know anything uh, about the JavaScript. So. Um, I'll turn these back on just so we can see um, those layers down there. Okay, so there they are. Um, and I can keep adding to them. This is one of the reasons why I like this menu, uh, this method of making flyout menus is the menus are visible. So if I need to add a link or change a link, it's quite easy to do it um, on these menus or if I need to edit these in some way. Okay, so in part four, we'll get these menus hooked up so that they actually function.